Hi everybody. Hey, I wanted to give you a quick update in regards to a question that one of our participants had. And that is if you um, have a spouse that has the same email address. Um, if that happens, you can join your accounts and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to go to the My Active Senior Center main page and you're going to log yourself in. Once you're logged in, you're going to come up to where it says, hi, whatever your name is, it says, hi, Sarah. And you're going to, you're going to go down to my account. Um, when you click on my account, you're going to see some information pop up. It's got your email address and it's got your current password. Your, if you need to change your password, you could do that here. And here's, there's a, a spot that says manage spouse and you're going to add spouse. And then you're going to add his or her specific information in here, her key tab or his key tab, and then the home phone number again. And then you're going to click continue. Um, and then once you do that, I'm going to show you by, let me, uh, I'm going to sign out of here. I'm going to sign in under my, um, I'm going to give you one second because I'm just going to sign in under my fake people. Forgive me, this is a little difficult to hum hunting and pecking. Okay, all right, so there is, uh, and then. All right, so here's, once you add your spouse, it's gonna look like this. So you're gonna have, it'll say, hi, this is Jane and Jim, this is the does. Um, so Jane and Jim. Um, so you'll see your name and your spouse's name. If you guys have the same email, um, it'll, it'll be able to link you guys together. Um, if you want to register for something, so say you wanted to register for Tuesday's Bone Builders or Thursday's Bone Builders class, you're gonna, you're gonna click on it. Uh, you're gonna click on the class that you want to register for. It'll show up here. This is the date of the class you wanna register. Then you're gonna click register. Now, even if this is just for you or your husband um, or your wife, so then it'll, you'll see this activity registration. It'll say Bone Builders Thursday. Uh, this is the date, uh, the date you're registering for. And do you want to register for Jane, Jim, or both of you? And then you'll have the ability to just kind of, okay, I just want it to be for Jane. And then you can click register. And it'll show up that it's just Jane registered. You can continue to go in and maybe you want to do a different program for, for, um, for Jim and he wants to play cornhole and he's going to do cornhole on the 23rd and you're going to come over there it's register you're going to register him this is just for Jim and you're going to register and then you you're all set so so you're good so then you can always look at the my senior center calendar and you'll see on your calendar that Jim is registered for the cornhole and Jane is registered for the Bone Builders. And then if you are doing an activity together, it'll have both of your names here. Um, the other thing I wanted to share with you is this little part here, it says upcoming events. So if you're um, registered for programs, it'll show the, what those programs are here. You'll see it in the calendar and you'll also see it here. If for some reason you need to cancel, you got a doctor's appointment or the family's coming over um, and they're going to take you out for lunch or whatever and you can't do the program, you can easily come back in here. You just click on this little red button. It'll ask you, um, you know, it'll say, are you sure you want to un um, unregister from this activity? Yes, you do. So you're going to unregister. Um, and I'm going to do both of these so we don't have some fake people showing up in our programs. 
and yes, we're gonna unregister. So um, I hope that was helpful and I hope it helped clarify how to join accounts, um, particularly if you have the same email. It's not as much of an issue if you don't have the same email, but if you have the same email, you're definitely gonna want it and gonna need to join your account. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, anyways, um, I think you can, I think you might even be able to do that if you aren't. I wonder if you could do it if you don't have same emails, but you just want to have the accounts together. You may. You can play with that by just coming up here, going under my accounts, and either linking or unlinking a spouse to that account. So you can, you can do that. So, all right. Thanks again, and I hope you all have a great weekend. Bye.